So the question that I want to ask all of you is, do you think or do you even say to your child as to how much intelligent is my child? Why do you think about how much is my child intelligent? Because uh, we've seen that generally people who are intelligent are considered uh, have a better chance of success. Now, if I were to ask you, who is more intelligent? Is Einstein more intelligent? Is A.R. Rahman more intelligent? Is uh, M.F. Hussain more intelligent? Is Sachin Tendulkar more intelligent? Is Arundhati Roy more intelligent? Who is more intelligent? Yeah, and th yeah no one in particular. I, I think all of them are must be equally intelligent. Or that's really not the criteria. You can't compare between them actually. Each one of them are intelligent in, in their own ways. They're all differently intelligent. I mean, somebody is intelligent in sports, somebody is a master of sports, or somebody is very good with writing. So they are differently intelligent. We are used to this question as to how much my child is intelligent. Can we just knock off that much? What remains? How is my child intelligent? We are saying, as you said, each one of them is differently intelligent, which means aren't all of us here intelligent differently or are we all intelligent the same way, right? So we are saying that intelligence itself is not singular anymore, that there are many ways of looking at intelligence, right? Uh, there is a theory called theory of multiple intelligence proposed by Howard Gardner and what he said was very simple, in fact very intuitive, all of us know that, all he said was that we are all different. And not just we are different as in, in terms of shapes and sizes and colors and noses and, and looks, we are also different in terms of how we are intelligent. Right? So he's saying, hey, wait a minute, it does not make sense to say how much is my child intelligent? It makes more sense to say how my child is intelligent, in which way is my child intelligent? Does it make sense to you? What you are saying is true, but then... Um what what actually is considered in school and all the way going forward to a career is usually the specific type of thing are they good in reading writing science maths right i mean very few out of all these lot of people reach to the level of ms hussein or ar rahman there are a lot of people who will just be okay in music so what their career will be will be usually based on their what is the normal intelligence that we talk about um you are showing some of the people who reach the pinnacle of success. Uh, but I think as parents, we are all worried as to will my child be intelligent in any of these fields or any of those hundreds of fields. So it's a normal question for a parent to worry or, or be anxious about as to where exactly does the uh, interest and intelligence of my child lie and how, how much the child is intelligent because it is a competitive world. End of the day, it's a hugely competitive world. And um, I think... It, 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 there is anxiety as a result of that. Now, before we go on to that these are only experts, but let's step back a little and just first think that, hey, they are different. That's more important to start with. Let's acknowledge, first of all, that my child can be intelligent differently. You know, I was the guy who would sit at the back and do chicka dick chicka dick chicka dick chicka dick chick, right? Now, am I intelligent or not? Just because I don't get 99 in maths, am I intelligent, first of all, in not or not? If you start as a teacher, as a parent, start thinking of me as not intelligent. Right? If you start thinking of me as that, then where am I? Is the only anxiety about me succeeding in life in a conventional form? Or can I start first looking at this child and say, hey, he's also intelligent. He's intelligent in a different way. He can play music. He can create some interesting music. Right? Can we meet A.R. Rahman and say to him, hey, you are not intelligent, you are the backbencher playing music all the time? No, we can't say that. The thing was, his intelligence was encouraged. Even if he has reached somewhere and if you say only few people have reached there, that's okay. Not everybody in maths becomes an Einstein also. right? But they have happy, successful careers in maths, in science, whatever. But similarly, people can have happy, successful careers in music. Right? in art, in so many other fields. Right? I am saying is, come on, because we are all different, we are same. Does it make sense? I am saying, because we are all different, we are same. We are at the same level. Right? You may be intelligent this way, you may, another person could be intelligent different. But we are all actually same. If my 
intelligence is accepted at the first step then i can move ahead and see what i can do with it right how i can turn that into a success how i can enjoy and live my life based on what i am good at not what i am supposed to be good at right so howard gardner in his theory of multiple intelligence which you must have heard this term of multiple intelligence what he proposes is that there are so many different kinds the eight kinds of intelligences is there anybody here who likes painting drawing or maybe photography or maybe fashion designing something to do with visuals yeah i like to do drawing and painting i yeah i have I had a good amount of fun doing that. I had painted something last week, and I really had a blast. Okay, and is there somebody who likes, who would rather spend their whole day submerged in music, creating music, listening to music, enjoying music, doing something with music? I love singing, even while going by bike, and you know, so all the time. So when some song is keep, you know, just there with me, that will be the day. Like I, I love to be with music. Okay, and is there somebody who uh, who likes to play? Who is a sports person? Who would rather spend their life just playing, playing, playing? I must just spend half my life uh, in the stadium. Uh, I've I almost got into the Indian team. I played at the national level ten times. Uh, I can I can play the whole day. You give me a ball and a wall, and I'm happy. <laughs> okay, and uh, somebody here who likes. uh programming and and computers and uh, mathematics and puzzles and that kind of stuff i love doing those sudoku puzzles and uh, you know the jigsaw puzzles and you know sitting with with lot of things on the net with uh, problem solving things yeah i love uh, reading and i love the uh, you know i'm seeing the linguistic intelligence here i just in, enjoy the the power of the written word and i and l- like to write so i think i just have totally immersed in that is there somebody here who just loves being in nature loves being with animals you see a, a dog you want to go to the dog you see a forest you can't go anywhere else yeah i love uh, nature i love forest i love the greenery i spend time in look uh, looking at the uh, green uh, Uh, uh trees plants all these uh, things and uh, that is something that i i love to immerse in i love uh, i think i uh, i find myself in when i am in that environment so who here is a person who finds himself amongst others yeah you like getting together arranging parties being with people serving them talking to them being a friend to everybody else i believe i can engage lot of people uh all the time around me and uh, you know i like yes uh, i can listen to people without me talking to them you know just i am a good listener i believe and who is the dreamer amongst us right somebody who likes to be just all by himself dreaming visualizing thinking philosophizing maybe coming up with a little poem or a quotation of yourself somebody who likes to be just by himself or herself Yeah, I like to be by myself and dream all my life, and I just enjoy that. Okay, so you realize what is happening here in this smaller group? We have people with completely different strengths, completely different intelligences, and we would rather be in our own intelligences. Would you rather be in your zone, in your own intelligence, than just doing things or spending your career and your time in other intelligences? i'm not trying to say that you have to be in that uh, your career has to be in that field but isn't that something which you would like to be accepted about that okay this person is like this and what would happen to you if you are being accepted the way you are if you are the musical kind people accept you like that if you are the sports kind you are accepted like that if you are the nature kind people accept you like that what will happen to you just improves your self esteem i feel good about myself um i just feel more confident and uh, it gives me a high okay and you talk you said it gives me a high and you also talked about can i reach a high on these things right you said that these guys are experts now can i reach a high and that's precisely what i'm saying yes given that we are encouraged based on our intelligences right believe based on that we are accepted on our intelligences we can actually make a success out of that maybe maybe not everybody needs to become 
uh, an A.R. Rahman or an Albert Einstein, but everybody can be happy in their life, be happy doing what they really like doing. The idea is that whatever is our intelligence, right, we use that to be happy in life, to be doing what we want in life, not necessarily that we do not need the other intelligence, we need the other intelligence, in fact we have all the, all the intelligences, all of us can be social, all of us can be uh, mathematical also, all of us can enjoy music also. So, it is not that the others need to be absent, others are there, but I can shine from my edge, whichever is sharp. Now, we have a little saying here, we say if you have a knife, which edge will you sharpen, the blunt side or the sharp side? Sharp side, that is exactly what multiple tenses are. Let me find which way I am sharp, which way I am naturally intelligent and then use that to lead my life.